been in here. I don't know. No. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. As far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single Hmm. Family. She's like, I hate democracy. It's all about aristocracy. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellige has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son. Okay, but what if his sons are assholes? What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Thanks, lady. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy. He is an artiste of the mead, you see. Boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. In both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'd send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option. I mean, that's generally good to like strategize, I'm just saying. But Skellige wants a different ruler, the kind who drown Nilfgaard in blood. That's true. They do have Nilfgaard to think about. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Okay, well, what about... Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop. Oh, I like Ceres a lot. Okay, let's talk about my reward. How about the money? Me a reward for helping your children. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Oh, that's not a bauble, that's a sword. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Lugos, 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 you know. You know how it is with the Lugos. Whoa, what's happening? Oh my gosh. That bear's 
bears, lots of bears, all the bears, every single bear in the world is here. The bears? This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, no? Okay, that's fine. Who let bears in? Who who let the bears in? Who 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 Clara, is that your uh, pet or girlfriend? <laughs> One or the other. Claw, give me some claw. Gotta stop the bleeding. Quick. Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, sir. I'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from? Huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son, too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Then come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabbit dog. Okay, gentlemen. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Ah, thank you, Clara. I think you're the best kitty ever. Find the guilty on oh, okay. Maybe Find second best. Them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. It's a very strange mystery. Well, did anybody see how the bears got in? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Okay, they are brother and sister. To me. Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Um, yeah, I'm gonna help Cirrus with this one, as I am Detective Geralt on the case. You're right, Cirrus. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf. I think. How do you get three giant bears into a feast hall with no one looking? Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. And they were very unhappy bears. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centering wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. Hmm. In as if a Perhaps he made a distraction. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They, they were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Let's look around. We've talked enough. 
Hey, Bri. Let me know what you found. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Examine the crime scene. Oh, once again, Detective uh, Geralt on the case. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Hmm. So many wounds. No wonder he all born bled to death. And he... I am not working today. That's good. That is not me. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stain green, maybe. Uh, let's see. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Well, I. He like provided a distraction, but it doesn't seem like it was on purpose. Shit, no more than a kid. Ah, uh, poor Audric. Let's take a look at this bear. All right. What do we have here? They're big bears. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Oh, a spell, maybe? Something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Where bears? Maybe. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. And bears don't usually have tattoos. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Okay, so there's Meat. were bears. Meat with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. All the horns are empty. Hmm, suspicious. So if they're were bears. Oh, at each table. Mead in this one. And there was some sort of special thing. Are you okay? Don't really know. She don't rightly know. We'll check this one, eh? Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Bowls empty. There was something about like a mushroom wine. From... Nope, I'm thinking about a D and D campaign I was in. in this room. Time to follow the scent. Sniffin' sniffin' like a good puppo. I'm just a good little woofy pup, you see what I mean? Oh, 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 oh. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. Ceres! I saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Oh, berserkers. There you go. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. All right, Hjort. Hjort. A disgrace. The camp we've not seen since the red funeral. You and I then. Come a yard, son of a mother. Freer, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitor. Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What Already I have! have. Spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know 
the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Marjoram related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep hmm. on cold winter nights. These tales are starting to seem like maybe they're not just tales. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Saib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Well, that's not good. The last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Gerald's clues, Gerald's clues. We need our handy dandy notebook. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castles are closed already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Oh yeah, you know that good old civil civil war tradition. I mean, same. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta flow. But so does blood. Let's say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Gotta examine. Ugh. The stench is a vodka. The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Right behind you. That's a relief. All righty, let's see. This mead's clean. Clean. Chuggle, chuggle, I'll just take a little sippy out of that one. Nothing here either. What about this one? Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another <laughs> Too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Um, maybe. <laughs> Quick. God, we might have been burned alive. Yeah, someone doesn't want us to know. Investigation to a quick end. Place of power. Should draw from us a secret passage. One rarely used more like when Yalmar and I were big baby. Oh, I gained an ability point. Cool. One 
I get my hands on that pyromaniac? That's Tank. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No. <laughs> but I have no witcher sense that might have spoiled. <laughs> You're <laughs> right. <laughs> that... <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. A mystery. And I know it said it was locked. Here we go. Someone walked through the mead. We follow the footprints. To find our culprit. off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Gotta get Arnvald! We'll chase him down. I hope I'm already on a horse because I don't know where to grab one. All right, let's go. The road's you and me, baby. Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him, you don't stand a chance. We'll see you about that. Oh, Arnvald! Come on, Roach. Ha! Got him. Got Got him. Now. Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on creature should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind of band of drunken yarls. Okay, maybe tie him up? Never heard you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Berna Bran, isn't it? Berna. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Spanrigger would have been left. The only claim onto Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. He's very, uh, no giving. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I wonder what conclusion um, Hjalmar is going to come to. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boon of Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. It was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. <laughs> Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. 
Um, okay, let's say both. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You, yet another uncreate lucky. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Croc paid you to smear my name? Okay, lady. Say, calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Okay, well, how about one little more piece of evidence? Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saris. Tis all precious little proof of her. Okay, right. where's another letter? Lass, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Olga, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment. Are you kidding me? You are making a big mistake. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait. Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Give the Witcher no credence. But you must. Oh! There's a hummingbird. Oh, maybe I should put a hummingbird feeder outside my window. Swan Rika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck a heart. Okay, that's a pretty intense way to die. This, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile, not death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I hope he chooses Again. exile. I don't think he deserves to Again. die because of his mom. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberation. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Gosh, the Skellica makes me so cold. My toes are a little bit chilly, and, um... Being here just makes them all the chillier. We're just in time. They've already started. <sighs> long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today. 
the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I'm so proud of her. She looks so good. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Oh, that guy's unhappy. Ah, That's what I've heard, and I've also heard that it will affect, um... Like, the way some things happen in the future, so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And don't you forget it! What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war. But if Nilfgaard aims to attack- You owe me, Cyrus! Don't you forget who put you on this throne! ...during the ceremony, furious to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring an end. Okay, be careful. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Okay, I know there was a Witcher contract I was going to do 